Uh, Chris Metz in for Gatos this week. Three people killed, three soldiers killed. We now know who they are. 23-year-old, a 24-year-old, and a 46-year-old that were killed in the early morning in Jordan by an Iran-backed drone strike on their base. Specialist Kennedy Landon Sanders, who was 24, Specialist Brianna Moffitt, 23, and Sergeant William Rivers, uh, Rivers 46, have all been identified uh, as of today. Uh, the drone attack uh, happened Saturday, and... Uh, it was near Tower 22, which is a place right there by the Syria-Jordan border. And the reason that was important, uh, as John Bolton pointed out, is because that's some of the stuff that the Iranians used to smuggle in and out and through there. 165 attacks as of now on our troops, not counting what is going on in the Strait of Hormuz and in the Red Sea. And this president, we are waiting for something he is going to... <clears throat> come up with something <laughs> that's what i'm hearing it's gonna be very and you know what's really kind of pissing me off i'm gonna say it i'm looking up there on all the muckety muck channels now i don't expect jim kramer to be talking about it mm -hmm. right uh but nobody else is talking about it and i don't know why this isn't a bigger story we had three of our people killed we've had 160 plus attacks and nothing not a thing I mean, you know, everybody's so like, ridiculous. they're going to get us in a war with Iran. You've got those people like, uh, total isolationist, mm -hmm. which I just, I find it fascinating because, look, I want to take care of America first. Doy, who doesn't? That being said, you know this. You worked in the industry of uh, financial world. Being an isolationist, you leave that, you decide, hey, we're going to be an isolationist. This is what we're going to do. You know what happens? China, Iran, and Russia get to go be the heroes elsewhere and spread their evil. And we're left here holding the bag. And we're left here because when things go south, what happens then? We had a chance. They'll decide if something goes south, they'll go to them. If they want something, they'll go to them. They'll spread their evil. And what do we have out of it? More attacks. Eventually. So I don't know what Biden is going to do. I have no idea what he's going to do. They were bombed in their beds, they said. Uh, there was a, by the grace of God, at the beginning of this October 7th thing that, you know, ended up being a terror attack, which is the start of the war, but there was an attack on our soldiers not too long after that, that the drone got stuck in a ceiling and didn't go off or it would have been, there was like a hundred of our guys and gals sleeping in a barracks. And people have been saying since then, is luck what you guys are hoping is going to happen? Like, is this what you think is going to fix the problem? Not going to work. It's not. If you're Biden, what do you do? What do you have to do if you're him? Do you have to retaliate? Who do you go after? Do you go out straight after Iran? I would go after Iran, but again, I'm not in that White House. No, you're not. Is he? He's probably going, am I here? Where oh, am I? Delaware? <laughs> Rehoboth? Uh, he has to. Uh, and, you know, my this is what I think is going to happen. It's going to bomb a couple places. It's going to look like this. They're going to send drones. They'll blow some stuff up. There's going to be some of Reaper drones. It's going to be like a warehouse where there's like... No one's there. Nobody's there. It's like the, the, the cleaner and maybe a couple people that are watching stuff like security. And they're like, we got them. And then they're going to continue to do this over and over again. Mm -hmm. And I go back to Reagan and Gaddafi. Reagan said he did what? Let's find out what he... Let's find out how he feels. Two jets. We never really heard from Gaddafi again. Nope. It was like, where's the baby's room? And that was it. Mm -hmm. For those of you guys who don't know, he bombed the hell out of the palace and killed one of Gaddafi's, Gaddafi says, one of his children, and uh, which is a possibility. I mean, you know, again, I don't know how much you believe a lot of this stuff coming up, but you never heard from him again, really, until much later. Yep. So, And that was after the Lockerbie incident and several other things. So it, are we going to mm -hmm. get strong? I don't know. But it's not just about Iran and, and and Israel and stuff. If I'm China and I'm looking around, China doesn't have the the means right now to fight us financially. They just don't. That was at Evergrande today. Oh my gosh! So explain to everybody who who they were because they were like it in China. Yeah, talking about real estate and housing and commercial real estate. So this is one of the biggest commercial real estate failures ever. Yeah. If not the biggest, right? Yeah. And so what that does is, and we have a issue here in the United States with ours, which with is- With our commercial real estate, which absolutely. Which is like awful. But this is completely defaulted. 
Completely. So they that's were ordered going, to liquidate, right? Yeah. And then that's going to reverberate globally. Yeah. So so financially, they're not as strong. And it, there was thought about three, four years ago, China's going to pass us. Now nobody thinks China's going to pass us. No. They, they're, they're much further away. But this like Evergrande thing is a perfect example, though. But if I'm sitting there and I'm Xi and I'm looking over, I see an 81-year-old who's having severe issues. Let's let's not pretend, right? Mm-hmm. Not trying to be mean. I don't want anything to happen There's a to decline. President. There's a decline. There's a serious decline there. Some serious questions about, you know, him. Behind him is who? Don't. Her. Go the there. giggler. Now, you don't know what the giggler could be like, right? Like, the giggler could be the worst of all. Like, she may get in there and she she's like, she just can't stop bombing people. I don't know. I doubt that, though. Then behind that, you had Lloyd Austin who, there's our Pentagon chief, there's the guy that's supposed to be our defense secretary, he goes to the hospital, isn't a damn person about what's happening. <laughs> no one knows. And this is how we're running stuff. And all the while, we're getting bombed. All the while, there is, there's just these half measures. And, you know, John Bolton came out today, and I think he's a war hawk. I think he'd like to go to war all the time because he gets paid for it. Uh, but you know what he said? First thing I would do is I'd look over and I'd see all those boats in the Red Sea. They'd be at the bottom of the Red Sea. I have no problem with that at this point. Well, this administration is feckless. There's no action. Yeah, that's a great word, feckless. Mm -hmm. It's a good, that's a strong word. I think it's absolutely true. So three dead, how many more are going to have to? Is there a point? I said the other day, is there a number that it has to get to before we really react? And I don't want to go to war with Iran. Unfortunately, they're already at war with us. They just use their tentacles and the puppets to do their thing. All right, coming up. Got a lot of stuff uh, to come up, including talk a little bit about the ocean. Speaking of the ocean, because wait till you hear what's going on in the ocean oh and boy. what's happening with our military. Thanks for watching Gatos and Chat. Click to watch more and tap the button in the middle to subscribe to KTAR News.